Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Thank you for clicking out this video. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, nato guys, click nyo lang yung subscribe button and notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this video. So in today's video guys, ang pag-uusapan natin is about the chain rule. So ano nga ba yung significance ng chain rule in finding the derivative of a function sa differential calculus? Now the importance guys of using chain rule in finding the derivative is that of course you'll get the correct answer if you follow the step in performing the chain rule and most importantly guys you can save time so time is one thing na hindi na natin pwedeng maibalik that's why importante yung chain rule in finding the derivative of a function so in this video guys uh, i-omit ko na yung mga karaniwang nakikita niyo sa mga libro that might uh, confuse you especially yung mga variables na ginagamit masyadong maraming variables na ginagamit so uh, medyo iba yung approach ko dito okay so, paano ba nag-work or paano ba ginagamit yung chain rule? So, let's solve a sample problem para mas maintindihan natin siya. Now, the first question is, kailan ba natin ginagamit, guys, ang chain rule? Okay? So, in this first problem, you can see that y equals 2x plus 1, the quantity, uh, raised to 8. So, meron tayong bigger function here. Ito yung nasa kabuuan niya, yung nasa labas. This is called the outer function. And you have this another function na nasa loob, di ba? Uh, it composed actually of two function, meron tayong outer function, yung 2x plus 1 quantity raised to 8, then yung inner function natin na 2x plus 1. So, ito yung main purpose of the chain rule. If you have a more complicated function, you can use the concept of chain rule. So, the chain rule is that uh, the differential of y with respect to x, okay, let me change that color. So, the, the chain rule is that the derivative of y with respect to x equals so, i-differentiate natin, find the derivative of the outer function, okay? So, ito yung main purpose ng chain rule. If you have a complex or more complicated function just like this one, kasi diba, if you expand this up to 8, then i-perform natin ang power formula that will consume uh, so much time in finding the derivative. Here, no need na yun, just use the chain rule. Ito, the derivative of the outer function, f of x, then, i-differentiate lang natin yung outer function, the 2x plus 1 raised to 8. I-leave lang natin yung inside, okay? Let's just copy that. Leave, leave the inside function, okay? Huwag na natin munang gagalawin yung inside function. Then, we just multiply here the derivative of the inside function. This is outer function. This is inner function, Okay? So that's, that's how uh, the chain rule works. So let's apply it in this problem. Okay. Now, the derivative of this with respect to x is the differential of, you have here dy with respect to x equals, so we differentiate natin guys ang outer function, yung 2x plus 1 raised to 8. So you just bring down that exponent, you have your power formula. Uh, kung natatandaan nyo pa, panoran nyo yung uh, previous videos natin if hindi pa kayo familiar sa power formula. So, the power formula, you just bring that exponent down here that is x. Then, um, mag-subtract tayo ng 1 sa exponent niya. So, this becomes 8 minus 1. So, this is 7. And, you just leave the inside function alone. So, just copy that. 2x plus 1. Okay? Then, derivative ng inside function which is 2x plus 1 here. So, the derivative of 2x Plus 1 is, you have here 2. Derivative ng 2x with respect to x is 2. Then plus 0. So 0 na yung derivative ng 1. That is a constant. Now we just simplify this. So this is 2 times 8. So the differential of y or y prime. So y prime or the derivative of y with respect to x. You have here, so 2 times 8, that is 16. Times the quantity 2x plus 1 raised to 7. Okay, so ito na yung answer natin. So that's how a chain rule works. Okay, you just find the derivative of the outer function, yung bigger function natin. Kung marami siyang outer and inner, parehas lang din yung ating uh, solution. You just differentiate the outer function. Leave the inside function alone. Okay, pabayaan mo lang muna yung inside function here. Then, you just differentiate that inside function here. Just multiply that. So, in this next problem, guys, we have here the function of x equals the square root of 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. 
Now, this can be expressed also. Pwede mo siyang i-express as the quantity 2x squared plus 4x plus 1 raised to 1 half. So, that's the square root. Okay? Now, uh, using the chain rule, okay, gamitin natin yung chain rule in finding f of prime x or the differential of y with respect to x. Now, here we have uh, f of prime x. Okay? So, you just bring that down, bring down natin yung exponent niya using your power formula. So, that is 1 half. Okay, then, copy, copy the inside part. Okay, leave lang the inside function. So, 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. Then, knock down mo ng 1 yung exponent. So, that is 1 half minus 1. Di pa tapos guys yung ating chain rule. We just need to find the derivative of that inside function. So, the coefficient is copied. Copy lang daw coefficient. Then, differentiate natin yung x squared. So, that is 2x. Okay? Then, the differential or derivative of 4x with respect to x. So, that is 4. Then, the derivative of this constant 1 is so 0. Okay? So, that is our chain rule. So, tapos na guys. We just need to Simplify this. So, f of prime x equals so 1 half times the quantity 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. Okay, 1 half minus 1. So, this is negative 1 half. Then, simplify this. This becomes 2 times 2x. So, this is 4x plus 4. Okay. Then, we have this. Okay, I simplify pa rin natin siya. So, 1 half times you have here 2x squared plus 4x plus 1 raised to negative 1 half then ito factor out natin yung 4 so this become 4 times the quantity x plus 1 so further simplifying so we have here 4 times 1 half so that is 2 then you have here 2 times uh, 2x squared plus 4x plus 1 raised to negative 1 half times the quantity, we have here x plus 1. Then further simplifying, i-bring down natin yung uh, 2x squared plus 4x plus 1 kasi naka-negative yung exponent niya. By loss of exponent, pag ginamit mo siyang denominator, magiging positive yung exponent 1 half. So you have here f of prime x equals, so you have here uh, 2 times, you have here x plus 1 all over, so you have here 2x squared plus 4x Plus 1, the quantity raised to 1 half. Or, i-express na natin itong 1 half into a square root sign. So, ibalik natin sa dating form. So, we have here 2 times the quantity x plus 1. All over, so we have here the square root of 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. So, this is our derivative of y with respect to x or f of prime x using your chain rule. Now, solve pa tayo ng last problem, a bit, medyo a bit complicated. So, ano tayo? Medyo lumilevel up yung ating problem, okay? So, yun. So, ito yung ating next problem. So, medyo lumilevel up na siya, guys, no? So, we have here the function of x equals to the quantity of x cubed minus here. Nakagroup din to, the quantity of x minus 1 cubed. Uh, cube. So, here, mayroon tayong maraming function. So, yung nasa loob, so apply natin guys yung power formula, okay? Now here, uh, the chain rule uh, states that you just differentiate the outer function, yung nasa labas, ito kalahatan niya, or yung kabuan niya. Then, you just multiply the differential or the derivative nung nasa loob na inside function. So, ito yung inside function natin. You have this, uh, x cubed minus the quantity of x minus 1 cubed. Then, yung outer function natin is itong buong function. Okay? Itong buong function natin. So, apply natin, guys, yung chain rule. So, f of prime x, okay? Apply natin yung power formula. So, you just bring this exponent down here. So, this is 3. Then, copy the inside function. So, this is x cubed minus the quantity x minus 1 cubed. Copy lang natin yung uh, inside function, then you just subtract okay, subtract ka ng 1 after you copy the inside function, di ba? differentiate natin yung outside function you just subtract 1 to the exponent so this will become 2, so 3 minus 1 then find natin yung derivative 
ang derivative nung inside function, yung x cubed k minus quantity x minus 1 cube. Hanapin din natin yung derivative nung inside function na yan. So, simplifying, we have here f of prime x. This is equal to, we have here 3 times the quantity. Copy lang natin to. So, x cubed minus x minus 1 cubed. So, this is just squared. Then, i-differentiate natin itong inside function. So, this is power formula also. So, 3, bring down that 3. So, 3. And, subtract 1 to the exponent. So, this is x squared. Minus, eto din. We just use the power formula for this. So, 3, bring down natin. Then, copy ng inside part, x minus 1. Okay? So, knock down ka ng 1. The exponent, so this becomes 2. So, squared. Then, differentiate natin yung nasa loob. So, this is just 1. So, the differential of x with respect to x is 1. So, this is 0. Okay? So, okay na yan. So, after simplifying this, guys, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? Simplify na lang natin. f of prime x equal, so we have here 3. Then, just copy this. x cubed minus the quantity of x minus 1 cubed. So, yung kalahatan niya, naka-squared. Then, you have this. So, 3. X squared minus 3 times the quantity X minus 1 squared. Okay? So, okay na to. You can, you can use this as your answer. Pero ito, as you can see here, pwede pa siyang masimplify. So, i-expand natin tong X minus 1. Okay? So, F of prime. So, F of prime X becomes, you have here 3 times the quantity, you have your x cubed minus the quantity x minus 1 cubed. Then, nakaraise din lahat yan sa 2 or naka squared. So, here, this is 3 x squared. So, minus, expand natin to. So, this will become x squared. So, yung 3 dito. Uh, minus, okay, 2 x plus 1 if you expand this using your FOIL method. Then, we just... Uh, simplify again, so this becomes f of prime x equals, so this is 3. Then just copy this, x cubed minus x minus 1 cubed, so this is squared. So this is 3x squared minus, so this becomes minus 3x squared. So negative 3 times negative 2x, so this is plus 6x. So negative 3 times 1, so this is negative Okay, so this cancels out. Cancel na yung 3x squared dito. So yun yung goal natin. And you just, we just simplify this. Pwede pa natin siyang isimplify. So isimplify natin to guys. So let, let me just erase this ano, para may space tayo. So I'm sorry for the board. So hindi ko pa siya na-explore uh, kung paano siya mag next page. So ito, burain lang muna natin. So this becomes, you have here f of prime x. So, copy lang natin ito kasi ito, nakasimplify na yan. Ito na lang i-simplify natin. So, this become 3. Quantity, you have your x cubed minus, you have your x minus 1 cubed. So, that is squared. Then, you have here 6x minus 3. Then, itong 6x minus 3, may common pa rin siya, no? We have here 3. So, ilabas natin yung 3, guys. Ilabas natin yung 3. So, we just uh, factor out the 3. On 6x minus 3. Then, okay na. Answer na yun. So, you have here f of prime x equals. So, you have here 3 times x cubed minus the quantity x minus 1 cubed. You have here squared. Then, factor out natin yung 3. So, this becomes so 2x minus 1. So, same thing yan. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 1, negative 3. Then, yung 3 dito, i-multiply na natin doon para ma-simplify na siya. So, 3 times 3. So, that is 9. Just erase this and replace it by 9. Okay? So, there you go. This is our final answer. Ito na yun guys yung final answer natin. So, that's how the chain rule works. You, ne you need to actually practice that. Because all problems in differential calculus and finding the derivative, involving finding the derivative, you actually perform the chain rule. So, this is a very important rule in finding the derivative of a function. Okay, guys? So, as I always say, guys, the secret of solving any math problem is actually practice. So, practice, practice, and practice. So, kasi yung brain natin parang muscles yan, di ba? If you keep on practicing it, mas magiging magaling ka.
and there's no other way in order for you to become more proficient or maging magaling sa anong bagay na pinapractice mo. It's all about a matter of how you practice your skills. Okay? Then, this chain rule actually, for me, this is a general rule of finding the derivative of a function. So, importante siya when dealing with uh, differential calculus. So, ako kasi guys, personally, hindi ko kasi alam dati that chain rule pala yung tawag sa kanya. So, lately ko lang nalaman na yung ginagawa kong method is actually the chain rule. So, yun pala yung tawag sa kanya. So, you just differentiate the outer function, leave the inside function alone, just multiply the derivative of your inside function. So, that's how the chain rule works. So, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that uh, you enjoy or you enjoy this learning uh, with me. And thank you again for my 8,000 YouTube subscribers. Thank you, guys. You are the reasons on why I keep doing this aside from my job. Uh, I find time pa rin para makapaggawa ng mga pagproduce ng mga bagong contents. Okay? Uh, I really appreciate and thank you for clicking out this video and I hope that you subscribe to this channel guys. See you on my next video guys. Stay safe sa lahat. God bless you all.